Hi! Um, this is a bit of a disclaimer. This is a parody of Cinema Sins Everything Wrong With series. A lot of people don't get the sense of humor and get personally offended by these videos. Uh, they think that the creator's trying to bash games that other people love. But in reality, Undertale is one of Chari's top ten favorite games. So please, if you love Undertale, don't take this video too seriously. Let's all try to enjoy making fun of one of our favorite games, okay? See ya! And the human's dead. Like, seriously, you expect me to believe a bed of flowers broke your fall? That's like what, a thousand feet? A flower bed isn't gonna save you from a thousand foot fall. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Flowey the flower. Okay, let's say, theoretically, Toriel never came for us and we somehow got past Flowey. How the hell are we supposed to know how to do this puzzle? Nothing tells us how to do it. What, just because the floor is colored differently, we're supposed to know which stones to step on? As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. Well, that's kind of racist. Well, it's spacious more than anything, but, you know. A puzzle requires pieces of information to solve it, and you want to know what information you're supposed to have in order to solve this puzzle? This patch of lighter floor. Last time the lighter floor was the stuff we weren't supposed to touch. How the hell would I have known this time? It's floor! Also, what's preventing someone from just, you know, swimming to the other side, ignoring the puzzle completely? Please, remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Wait, so you just carry an extra cell phone with you to give away? Like, I know people that carry multiple phones with them, but this cell phone can only make calls. Do you always carry one on the off chance that someone did fall down into the underground? Speaking of the underground, how do cell phones work here? Are there phone towers built in the underground? Whoa there, partner. Who say you can push me around? Wait, how come sometimes rocks are rocks, but other times rocks are not rocks? This ghost just keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? How can I move a ghost? Aren't they incorporeal? Can't I just walk through Napstabluk? Let me try. Okay, so I know that ghosts already defy all laws of physics, but how is he crying up? And I think more importantly, how are his tears creating a hat? Leave 7G in the web? Okay, I know kids nowadays have all this crazy internet lingo such as don't at me and Fortnite, but what am I saying yes to here? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spiders. Well, first of all, we're not even a spider, so to say that it's for spiders isn't really correct, but isn't that kind of weird? Like, isn't food made by spiders of spiders the equivalent of if humans made cookies with their pee or something? Man, the things Undertale never makes a question. I just realized that it has been quite a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. Yet you had a cell phone with you on the ready in case you did have company. Planes can't talk, dummy! But you just- okay. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. How could she be carrying groceries when there's nothing out here? What store did she go to? I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Snail pie? Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. Not only why do you know that, but why does the chair have a name? The fire isn't burning hot. Just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I don't know how to tell you this, but fire is fire and fire burns. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. What the hell? It took me half an hour to get here. Tops! How did you go grocery shopping, put everything for the pie together, finish baking the pie, and put together an education curriculum in the time I was gone? The pie alone would have taken you 45 minutes, and that's just the time it takes to bake! You couldn't think of any conversation topics? After she just graced us with a book called 72 Uses for Snails? Yeah, go right through. My bro made the boss too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. I'm not really calling out the conveniently shaped lamp, because, I don't know, haha foony, but why do you have a random lamp just outside your sentry station? Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! <laughs> hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> I know there are a lot of these moments, so I might as well get breaking the fourth wall out of the way right now. 
Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now! If not for Papyrus giving us the answer, how are we supposed to know how to solve this puzzle? Human! I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? Haven't you been standing here for a while waiting for me to get here? Did you not notice there was no puzzle until this very moment? Uh, the word kid should not have an apostrophe here. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left of me? Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so... But, wait, didn't you just say you were surprised I got past the spaghetti? What do you mean I was taking a long time? This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Well, that was incredibly unlucky. The odds of getting that combination of tiles is 1 in 36 duo decillion, 703 on decillion, 368 decillion, 217 on illion, 294 octillion, 125 septillion, 441 sextillion, 230 quintillion, 211 quadrillion, 32 trillion, 33 billion, 660 million, 118,801. Yeah, I checked the wiki. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't even know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Okay, I feel personally attacked and I am not okay with that. I just realized, a lot of younger people today might not know what TLC means, or even who TLC are. They probably only think of the TV channel, and that makes me feel old. I blame the game. Fuck you, game. This challenge... it seems... maybe... too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one! I'm a skeleton with standards! Papyrus, one of your puzzles was literally stepping on two shapes and then pressing a button. Awful genius torments a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. So you knew they were tormenting Gift Trot and instead of, you know, undecorating it, you decided to mock it by decorating an actual tree. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. How would the underground know who Santa is? They started the tradition of decorating a tree and putting presents underneath it because of Gift Trot being vandalized. Where does Santa fit into the equation? Even then, assuming that Santa still exists in the human world in this universe, isn't it a huge coincidence that the same character exists in both the monster and human worlds? Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Again, I feel personally attacked, and I do not appreciate that. There's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Don't make a politics joke, don't make a politics joke, don't make a- And look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? And what if I am, Discount Mike Wazowski? While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What the hell does that last part have anything to do with magic? By that logic, monsters will never understand the joy of... Swimming? I don't know. The last time I prepared a bone attack, my girlfriend kicked me out of the room. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Okay, Toby, what's with the personal attacks? Like, did I... did I do something? Did I... did I hurt you? You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Did... did I just pill for money from Papyrus' couch? And that's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and, uh, do whatever people do when they date? Considering all I can think of is the word bone right now, how about let's not and say we did? The internet! I'm quite popular there! I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count! How do you have negative two followers? A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. You never see it come back. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. In preparation for a date you didn't even know you'd have? I mean, I guess it's better to be safe than sorry, but... We interrupt Undertale to bring you... Big the Cat's story from Sonic Adventure? Big the Cat!
Would you get out of here? You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Papyrus, you whore. Wait, why do you have a comb? You don't have any- Ah, oh, it. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Good talk, Sans. Weird flex, but okay. Suddenly hentai. A haunting song that goes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Well, I only played seven notes, so... My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along! When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable, it spooked them right out of their dummy. Really? Because I gotta say, I'm not much of a conversationalist, and the dummy seemed kind of quiet. I don't think that's said a single word that entire time. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store, then everything I want will be mine! Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. What was the name again? I'm assuming you just talked, considering you're all pissed off at me. Do you guys just call each other cousin instead of your actual names? <laughs> what the heck is this? The acid rain? Oh, forget it, I'm out of here! Sorry, I've interrupted you, didn't I? Did... Did you just cry on the mad dummy? Why? And... Why did that hurt them? This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Oh. Never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you, do you want to join me? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So, uh, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. What the hell was in that ghost sandwich? This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Does Naptablook not know who King Asgore is? You know, the king of the underground? We interrupt Undertale to bring you Spongebob. Oh, did you hear? I got nothing else to talk about. Good talk, Onion-san. What? 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 It's a living. You get paid to be a training dummy? What would you even use the money for? Even if you could eat, I don't think you need to. And you seem to live outside anyway. Why am I analyzing whether or not a dummy needs a wage at all? Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Wait, 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 what? Seven of their greatest magicians? But what did I read earlier? Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. Well then goddamn, which is it? There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. And how exactly do you know this? Like, how does one quantify soul power? How does one quantify the strength of the barrier? Because I'm guessing the only way you would know this is if someone else did it previously, but that's impossible because, well, the barrier's still there. Tem heard humans allergic to Tem. Da okay, Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. If this Temmie is allergic to Temmies, how come it didn't have hives before? Whoa! That's a lot of minds. Can Tem really accept? Okay, Tem go to Coleg and make you proud. What the? How the? What the? What? No, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you need your face when you go to college. Tem back from Coleg. Tem learned many things. Learned to sell new item. Yeah, yeah. What? 
Okay, let me get this straight. Not only did I pay your goddamn tuition that allowed you to learn to sell something actually useful in the first place, and not only are you selling this new item that you learned how to sell, which I think I really need to stress I paid for in the first place, but it's actually worth seven times your college tuition, which I can't possibly stress enough, I paid for. And bear in mind, it's only seven times as much because I died a couple of times. This shit is normally ten times the amount I paid to send you to school. Tim, all my so goods, any battle become a easy victories, but mm, Tim think if you use armors, battles wouldn't be a challenge anymore, but Tim have a solution, Tim will offer a scholarships, if you lose a lot of battles, Tim will lower the price, so if you get to tough battle and feel frustrated, can buy Tim armor as last resort, but Tim armor so goods, promise to only buy it if you really need it, I paid for your tuition, I'll eat the fucking armor if I want to. Without candles or magic to guide them home. What the hell do you mean without magic? Monsters are made of magic! Are you telling me that out of all the monsters that were traveling together, not one of them had some kind of magic that produced light? I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo, wait! Help! I tripped! How are you even hanging on? You have no arms! And if you're somehow holding on with your teeth, how are you talking? Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Who are your parents? You keep talking about them, but we never see them. I never saw any monster that looked like you in Snowden. Is this your house? Is, is your father the creepy dude that gets off when people knock? We interrupt Undertale to bring you Resident Evil 5. Uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... Been observing your journey through my console. Yeah, that's not sketchy as fuck. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for him. S so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right through Asgore's castle. No problem. Considering that Alfie's is a royal scientist and we're cool with Alfie's, couldn't she just tell the royal guards to get out of our way and use the elevator? Like, certainly she has clearance, right? How many flies are in this jar? How on earth would Alfie's know this? Is it her jar? What? Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> you were gone for like four seconds. Is everyone in the Underground a Time Lord? Ah. Uh. Good talk, river person. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not... The 90s cult, they said they want their 80s comebacks back. One time, Alfie's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. And fed himself grapes. How does a robot without a mouth feed himself grapes? How does he eat anything? Why would he eat anything? I hate cold food. So Alfie's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Or... you could get a microwave. Hell, heating it up in the oven or the stove would be just as good if not better. Is the fridge perpetually heating up the food? Does the heat lower in order to keep it warm or is it always hot? In theory it's a cool idea, but it just seems impractical. Hey, you know, it's kinda strange you chose that tea. Well, it was less that I chose the tea, more that you literally wouldn't let me have anything else. Let's start with the sauce! Chicks, pardon you? Do you have a hatch or something on your ceiling where you keep your vegetables and whatnot? Also, I'm fairly certain this is a banana, so I don't know what the hell sauce you think we're gonna make. Ugh. Oh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. We interrupt Undertale to bring you Tim's kitchen tips. Sir Harder! 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 Ugh. Let me do it! Well, that's not really stirring, that's just stabbing. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you! What makes you think you'd be able to? You need seven souls. If you could use less, why would monsters still be in the underground? And it begins. Uh, I think, um, hey, I found some puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! Are, are you not watching me on your console anymore? Because you'd clearly be able to see that I figured the puzzles out. 
Like, how come sometimes you know what's happening and other times you don't? A human soul! Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution of the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different, non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan! Uh, well, I mean... That's a brilliant idea, Halfies! Actually, I happen to have an option right here! MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. What does a human soul taste like? How does it get the extract? And if it's not an extract, how does he know what it tastes like in order to artificially create the flavor? You can't just come up with these concepts and not tell us what a human soul tastes like, Toby. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Not that the snow won't melt off near actual molten lava, but I wouldn't have noticed if he hadn't said so, so good on you. You really like hot animals, don't you? Hey, I'm not judging. Did, did Sans just call us a furry? How is he even stacking these? Top 10 shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. Suddenly watch Mojo. Oh my, and it looks like it's for my latest film. Let's not keep them waiting. Let's open it up and get the scoop. What? How did that cartoon ass bomb even fit inside that script? I mean, it would make sense if the script was hollow, and even then that's a stretch, but they're all bombs? Wait, I have an idea. Uh, let's be friends on Undernet. And then you can just pick me when you need help. Wait, we're already friends, aren't we? I signed you up. Didn't I? Considering you did like 40 different things in the span of four seconds, I'm not surprised you don't remember you saying, and I quote, now we're officially friends. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. There are cars in the underground? Since when? Also, didn't Papyrus say something about wanting to drive down a long highway during his date? How does he even know what a highway is? Speaking of which, what about the comic books and anime that Alfie's has? Where'd she get those? People say they're from the human world, but how'd they get here? You're still alive. <laughs> oh, my pet. Looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? A telegram for the spiders in the ruins. What? A telegram? In a world where we have cell phones and the internet? Like, I get that they're spiders, but if they can send a telegram, why wouldn't they be able to call someone? Not to mention, if no one leaves the ruins and no one enters them, how'd the telegram even get here? We interrupt Undertale to bring you Final Fantasy VI. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? Yeah, and weren't you the machine that activated it? Because either that or Alfie's is just lazy with designs. Hey, I heard you going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? <laughs> Great, thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Do we need one? I mean, the hotel's right here. Okay. It's a performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, Sans. Considering all Sans does is tell jokes, does he not count as a comedian? What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. So, I wanted to be an actor. Here we go. They let you smoke at a fast food job? Also, wait a fucking second, I just noticed. Why is the M on your hat upside down during this frame? Oh, you're smoking weed! Wait, what was this game rated? E10! So I went out to the alley to see these two ladies and, uh, you know, see what happened next. Uh, then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. Uh, I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pocket tumbled out onto the ground. Uh, not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. And the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. And your real name is... You know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, uh, make yourself more rectangular. Uh, they don't work. Never mind why they would sell those. I don't know, man. Have you seen your head? Okay, like, the annoying thing is... It'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he acts like really weird. And then he acts like it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. Really? Because he told me you laughed at him after what happened, and to top it off, you call him Burger Pants. I don't really see in what way he gets respect and you don't. But that kind of guy, you hang out with him once and he just wants to hang out. All. The. Time. 
but don't you feel bad for him, Bradley? Poor Burger Pants. Think about how cool we are compared to him. Hmm, two narcissists that sell literal garbage in a shady alleyway are a 19-year-old incel who works at the only hotel in the underground city run by a celebrity. Oh, I'm not picking sides. Both of them are awful. We'd be saving his life with our friendship. His life, Bradley. Uh, so? Think of all the gum burgers he could get for us. Says so it's free after work. Wow, I never thought I'd root for the incel. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. That is a hand that speaks. How even do you speak? Oh, shit. It looks like Frisk is getting frisky. Yes. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Uh, why not? I mean, it's about the personality, not the body when it comes to being an on-screen personality, right? Time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not! Again, what's with these non-burns? This sound that you're hearing right now? It's on the soundtrack. Yep, it's called Long Elevator. Mm hmm Toby Fox recorded his washing machine and called it a song. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. How tense. Just think of it like... a visit to the dentist. Yes, because getting my teeth cleaned is exactly the same as fighting a giant goat man to the death. Also, monsters have dentists? We could be like... like a family. Oh. <clears throat> well, there goes my pacifist run. What the fuck? I just can't understand! Flowey ran away. You mean fled, right? Because he doesn't have feet or legs. Kyle Hebert? The voice actor? The current voice actor for- Big the cat! For fuck's sake, how is that two Big the Cat references in one game that has nothing to do with Sonic? You made all these great friends? Now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. It hurts, doesn't it? If you'd just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Well, it's mostly your fault. You killed my would-be goat dad. What if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and- Wait. Didn't you save over my save file? Wasn't that the whole thing with you and the whole I'll make you watch yourself die over and over and such? Kieran, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I must note it in front of Papyrus says. Why does this conversation only happen after you complete a neutral route? Like, I get that the date with Alphys happens after, and after that you get a call from Papyrus, but what changed? We reloaded our save, haven't fought Asgore, and just came back here. By reloading our save, shouldn't things be the same as we left them? How does this work? Um, so, I have a favor to ask of you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll t tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. Well, you don't have to. You could just mail the letter. I mean, there are mailboxes in this world, so... Oh, no. Is that another letter? Was Alfie's just waiting at the door? Why? And why don't we leave? We have no business here. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. What? No! Yeah, let's, uh, date. Uh, do you, uh, do you like anime? H hey, me too! Good talk, Alfie's. So, she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. W well, I guess it's obvious, huh? 
I, uh, I really like her. Yeah, I know. Remember the whole quiz show thing with Metaton? I was there, you were there, hell, I'm pretty sure that event was televised. Uh, I, I, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Uh, wait a second. Are you two... on a date? Wait, 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 wait. Aside from her being in a dress and me being here, why would you assume that? What was in that letter? I'm assuming you were asking Alfie's out, right? Her immediate response was, okay, let's go on a date. So, if she's wearing something cute and you know we gave the letter to her, why wouldn't you assume she's here to see you? In fact, why are you even here at the garbage dump? Alfie's brought us here because of the date, but you should be thinking I'm in Hotland right now. If you wanted to deliver the letter yourself, why not take a ride with the river person straight to Hotland? There's no reason I would even be here! Alfie's, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Uh, Dad, you... you're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Why is Papyrus in his training gear? Why is Papyrus here at all? You didn't even know Alphys would be here! There's a doll here. Um, I think my game f***ed up here, and this is super weird because this is the first time I've even seen this fight, so... For a second I thought this is just what happens. So sorry, just everything about so sorry. Warning. Warning. Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Well, on to the genocide route. Why is a sperm patting my head? Entry number 16. No, 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 no! Good entry, Alfies. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray... sticky ones? Oh, gross! How is this E10? Howdy, Pickle. Smile for the camera. Ha! <laughs> this time I got you! I left the cap on, on purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> Good prank, Asriel. Pickle, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Pickle, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Pickle, please, wake up. Why were they recording during this? Like, the camera belongs to the dreamers, right? So who was like, Pickle's dying, gotta record this. Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I ejected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough... physical matter to make those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into... those... Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing... Everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. I mean, they're still alive, right? Sure, they melted into each other, but they're still alive. That must have put you closer to figuring out how to stabilize a termination. Theoretically, couldn't you create an artificial soul with that determination extract? Why not inject a living monster with determination? I know you can't inject into their soul directly, but why not... I don't know, have them expose their soul the way Frisk does during a fight? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? But... It already is living. A flower is a plant and all plants are living things. Sure, it may not have a soul, but it's already living. Why not an inanimate object like a toy? See, this is what I'm saying. The flower didn't need a soul in order to be injected with determination. How then does Flowey have it? 
Why not inject determination into monsters that already do have a soul, especially since you know it works and just break through the barrier? Tori, you came back. Do not tarry me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. That would not have been a peaceful way to free the monsters. Do you not remember what happened to your son? He crossed the barrier and tried to take the human to their village only for humans to beat the shit out of him because they thought Asriel killed the kid. How do you think the humans would react if they saw that a random goat man actually did kill six humans? Yeah, Asgore went a little power crazy and revenge hungry, but your plan would be causing another war, you dumbass! But instead, you made everyone live in despair. To be fair, everyone down here seems to be fine. No one seemed particularly miserable and sure they want to return to the surface, but... I wouldn't say anyone's in despair. You're right. What did San say earlier? Maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do... Really worth it? Yeah, well said, Sans. Hello, I'm Torian. Are you the human spring? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you too. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Okay, does anybody else find it weird that nobody knows who the queen is? I understand that she's been gone for a long time, but haven't monsters been around for a long time too? Alfie's even has an entry that says that the first golden flower appeared just before the queen left, meaning she knows who the queen is. But here she's like, OMG, who's that? Hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I'm Torian. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then this must be your brother, Papyrus. Wait a second. You know his brother's name, but you never told each other your own names? Sometimes you just gotta, um, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. Uh, it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action! What's Metaton even doing here? Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then, uh, don't hold anything back! Why were they just turning their heads? Their lips would have never reached each other. We're with you too! Come on! You've got this! You've got to win! You can do it! My friends are my power cliche- What are any of you doing here? Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. I've only been using a fraction of my real power cliche. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably? What do you mean, probably? I didn't even bring it up. All I said was that I was a human. Mm -hmm. Now that we're gonna be free, OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. The cat girl wants to have a pet cat? Isn't that like a human wanting a pet baby or something? Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. Well, you don't need to, though. The ruins are open. Just send someone in there to get the spiders. On the surface, we'll be able to watch all kinds of TV. But I bet none of those shows are as good as Metatons. I've been thinking about getting a sick skateboard. Good talk, kid. Yay! Who are you? Uh, same. I've never seen you until now. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill my upcoming troupe. So far, Shira's agreed to be my backup singer. And B Napster Bluk here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? Metaton, I'm a huge fan. Does... Oh. Does Napstablook not know who Metaton is, or who he used to be? And more importantly, why doesn't Metaton just call him Blooky? Who cares? You're working together anyway! The surface intimidates me. The entire outer layer of the Earth is made of dirt. You realize you've been living in a place called the Underground, right? How about this headline? Monsters go free from the Underground. Eh, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? Suddenly BuzzFeed.
Now I can play monsters and humans with real humans! Hmm, when humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? Why would they call it humans and humans? You don't call it monsters and monsters. <laughs> Looks like I don't have to worry about popping jokes anymore. Hmm. I was gonna say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Good talk, Scarf Monster. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Does that mean this is technically a harem now? Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press B to skip to my dialogue. That's right, pressing B. You've really matured, haven't you? What the hell are you talking about? I listened to you the first time! Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man, sorry. That's brutal. Tori, huh? Gee, looks like someone else is boning Toriel now. Yes! Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's in... Anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please... Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... Barring the fact that neither of these words should have an apostrophe, apparently other cartoons don't have swords or guns. Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go and make a good first impression! And that's the story of how Papyrus terrorized an entire village, thus starting the second war between humans and monsters. Good to see all the monsters enjoying their lives in the human world. What's that? Where are the humans? Oh, don't worry about that. You expect me not to get hit by any of the 883 people that backed this game on Kickstarter? Man, that was so fun and charming. Well, time to kill everyone I grew to love and care for. Ribbit, ribbit. I've heard you were quite merciful for a human. I've been killing everyone who's ever known your name. Listen. I have a plan to become all-powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. And then? I I've just never understood the whole let's destroy everything plan, because... I mean, what's the point once you have? That's a wonderful idea! Sans! Have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wowie! Guess that's settled! Good talk, Papyrus. So, Sans! When's the human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best. Or at least my Tuesday pretty good. Don't you only have one outfit? Didn't you just make this outfit not too long ago? For a costume party? Good idea. What did he wear before then? Fucking Jerry! It's merely a decoy. Why would they just have a decoy child? Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Don't they know we've got Undyne to protect us? Seriously, who are your parents? Did they just up and leave you? You know, I never questioned it before, but why does Undyne hesitate here? She knows the human is dangerous, she should know everyone else is evacuated, what did she have to lose by striking? Could she afford to not strike at this point? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Hate to be that guy, but it's will you take them? If Undyne's trying to catch and even kill the human, why would she cut down the bridge? She has them cornered! Though I guess you could argue that she reasoned that a fall from that height down to the garbage dump would have killed them, and to that I say it should have! I've lived too long to be afraid of something like you! Try it, kiddo! Ah, uh, no, you can't hear! So... Being a shopkeep <laughs> makes you like immune? To so getting killed? I don't think I follow. Nah, I'm not a hero. Never was. But what about that Hammer of Justice shit in the pacifist route? How is what I'm doing now affecting events of the past? Undyne, you you heard? Heard? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Undyne, I... I'll take care of this. Get out of here! Uh.
<laughs> it's nothing. No. S somehow, with just one hit, I'm already... That's a good point. How come all the boss monsters are weaker than the regular monsters? Sure, their bullet patterns are trickier to dodge, but they all do the same amount of damage as a regular monster and go down even quicker. But, but I never got to- God damn! Well, the- That's just sad. Alphys just came here and she's taken us someplace super duper safe. But first, we gotta use up these gel pens. Yeah, chill Alphys, we don't wanna waste pens. Hmm. Using up gel pens or getting literally murdered. Good to see these girls have their priorities straight. Merton didn't tell me I had to work, I guess. But that's the thing! Sometimes he doesn't even call me into work until halfway into my shift! If I don't play it safe, he's gonna yell at me. Then why are you talking to the customer if they haven't bought anything? You made a big deal out of it in the pacifist run. Ha <laughs> Eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial! There's something you haven't accounted for! As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. No you weren't, you were built as an entertainment robot. I understand multiple timelines, but what reverse butterfly effect bouge is happening that causes these minuscule changes to the past? I remember when I first woke up here, in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom! Dad! Somebody help me! I called out. But nobody came. Eventually, the king found me. So your dad did come. To, to find you. Inside I found her, Kara. I thought of all people, she could make me feel whole again. Flowey playing the pronoun game in the strangest variation where we know who he's talking about, but Kara probably doesn't. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Even if you do have a soul, what happens when you die? You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? Apparently Let's Plays are a thing in the Undertale world. Uh, your determination... Somehow, it's even greater than mine. What do you mean, somehow? I have a soul and you only have determination juice that Alfie's extracted from other souls. You're lucky to even have determination at all. I just have one question for you, Kara. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left. And decided to give you a proper burial, rather than... Hanging out in the basement forever. So, Toriel carried a corpse from here all the way to the ruins? There's nothing wrong with that, it's just incredibly morbid. I mean, the ruins aren't really what you'd call close. The king has six of them locked away! I tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them, but he just won't. Kara, I know he'll do it for you. Why on earth would he do it for me, the person that's wiped out the underground and wants to kill him too, and not you, his son that was brought back to life with heart juice? Even after all this time, you did tell him you're his son, right? Ah, shit! What the fuck? No, 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 damn it! I know I can't beat you. When Neo turns, you just gonna kill me. So, uh... I've decided it's not going to be your turn, ever. I'm just going to keep having my turn until you give up. Wait, Even if it means you can do that? Here until the end what, have we been fighting on an honor system this whole time? <laughs> Did you really think you'd be able to... Now, some of you might be asking, how does a skeleton bleed? And some of you may answer, oh, that's not blood, it's ketchup. Or, oh, that's not blood, it's determination. And you might be right. But what you can't answer is, how does a skeleton sweat? Let us erase this pointless world and move on to the next. How would we even do that? Interesting. Apparently, Kara, the Angel of Death, gets bored after only 10 minutes. Also, you killed me, but I'm not actually dead? How does that work? Cause, like, I get determination and all that, but if I wasn't actually dead, shouldn't I be able to go back to my save point? Or... If I was actually dead? Man, I don't know. Also, if we destroyed the world and there's nothing... HOW IS THERE WIND?! you. Hey 
guys, Charmai5 here. Thanks so much for watching my Cinnamon Sticks parody of Everything Wrong with Undertale. This one is definitely one of the most requested videos I've ever done, and probably the biggest project I've ever tackled, resulting in an 11 hour dub of the game, both true pacifist and genocide routes. So if you want to hear the full dub, you can check it out here. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month. Or if you would so choose, you can actually join the channel now. Just click that join button down there. To those who already do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSyn, the awesome people that I parody. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char i 5 signing off. What's this? I really need to start, like, adding, um context <laughs> to some of these sins uh what expunge me so you knew they were tormenting grift so you knew they were tormenting grift why do i keep saying grift grift trot even then assuming that santa still exists in the human world in this universe isn't it a huge coincidence that the same character exists in both the monster and human worlds man my salmon is getting a lot better like normally that would have like taken everything out of me <laughs> By that logic, monsters will never understand the joy of swimming. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The last time I prepared a bone attack, my... <laughs> Forgot about this one. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. You'll see that my mind is too fast for eyes. Papyrus, you whore. <laughs> yeah. Like, luckily, I always wear clothes underneath my regular clothes. <laughs> Papyrus, you whore. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> that is like the first joke. That I just want people to know that is the first joke I made for for this video, and and it, I made it while I was playing the game, and it it tickled me so much I couldn't stop laughing at it. <laughs> Bump into the mic. <sighs> Boom. Okay. Uh, usually I. Make it so that the entire... Where the fuck... No. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. Nice. <laughs> nice. But what did I read earlier? <laughs> what? My co-workers don't want to go to work? <laughs> do you have a hatch or something on your ceiling where you keep your vegetables and whatnot? <laughs> your vegetables and whatnot? Toby Fox recorded his washing machine and called it a song. <laughs> Good prank, Asriel. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, well said, Sans. Good talk. Actual good talk, Sans. <laughs> Tori, huh? Gee, looks like someone else is boning Toriel now. Yes! Always wanted to make that joke. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, just, I wrote it for this, but... <laughs> I make it seem like I was... The Frisk one, that, that was one that I... I I've been saying since the beginning, too. <laughs> Fucking Jerry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mabel! <laughs> I'm done. I'm done recording for Undertale. <laughs>